Okay, here's an interesting scientific device invented by, invented by Crookes, uh, a very interesting guy. He was interested in the paranormal as well, but a very distinguished scientist. And uh, the radiometer is a device that uh, spins when you put it in sunlight. And I've seen a lot of different people give a lot of different explanations to how it works. But I personally think that the way it works is it, it's a heat engine, and uh, it's a difference in the temperature between the center spinner and the uh, envelope, and I'll explain why. So this is a normal experiment. You, let's see if I can get it centered right. I'll get it, put it in a light, and the light heats it up and it spins and if you look at it it spins in the direction such that the black side is uh, being propelled away from you and the white side is coming towards you so that that is the preferred direction of rotation when it's put into a light you have to kind of hold it level okay see the black is going away from you and the white is coming towards you okay the direction to spin. I want to keep that in mind. Okay, so let's take our radiometer over here and we'll set it down here. Let's clean up some space. Okay, and here we have a hot air dryer, hair dryer, and we will keep the glass up. And it spins in the same direction. So it spins in the same direction as if you're heating up with sunlight. So the heat has a similar effect on it. But let's take this guy, now that we've heated it up, and we'll stick him into the freezer next to the Oreos ice cream. Okay, we'll get it balanced. Okay, what direction is it spinning now that we got it balanced? It's spinning so the black side is coming towards you. It's spinning backwards when you get it cold. This is why I suspect that the Crooks radiometer is actually a heat engine because when you reverse the hot and the cold side it spins in the opposite direction. If you subject the uh, envelope to cold the radiometer spins backwards. Now, other people have put forward the theory that well it's light bouncing off and it bounces off differently from the dark and the light side but obviously this can't be the case. There is a low pressure gas in there which I believe is the working fluid. And uh, there we have the radiometer spinning backwards when it gets cold. Very interesting. And if we take it back out and put it back at room temperature, heat it back up, it should start spinning the normal way again. I think the envelope is still cooling down because it got hot from the, the uh, hair dryer. Oh look, we stick it under the light and it reverses direction and goes the normal direction again, which is uh, clockwise, right? Normal direction is clockwise. As it cools off, it goes counterclockwise. It's 
hard to keep it level. You gotta keep it perfectly level. So anyway, there you go. Radiometer. As a heat engine. Oh yeah, there's one final experiment that I wanted to try. What happens when you put the radiometer into the microwave oven? Okay. Oh yeah, it looks terrible in there. Okay. Let's take a look. It lights up. And I don't know if you can see this, but it is spinning really, really fast. Look at that. So it lights up a plasma inside and it spins the hot way. Oh, now it's going to reverse. And it's going to spin really fast the other direction. And <laughs> Holy cow. I hope it doesn't explode. Look at that. So while it's on, it spins clockwise as if it's been heated. And now that we've turned the microwave off, it is spinning really fast in the opposite direction. Let's take her out of there. So it's spinning counterclockwise now. So there we go. Radiometer in the microwave. Okay. And anyway, this is uh, Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.